Now we're going to uh, just cut, do a couple of really simple things with Jersey Royals. Uh, one of the great things about them is the fact that they're, they're just really, really small. And it's such a fantastically flavoured potato, we don't really want to do too much with them at all. So I'm going to give these a quick wash. Again, make sure you use uh, hot water. Any hot water, because they're so delicate and they're so small, if you start washing these in hot water to get rid of all of the dirt, you'll actually start cooking the potato. And all of the nutrients are just under the skin. We'll end up actually cooking the best part of the potato away while we're actually washing them. We've got two pans. One pan, we're going to do a little bit of crushed potato. And the other one, we're just going to do some really nice Boiled Jersey Royals with a bit of herb butter. So while these are while these are cooking, uh, I'm just going to go grab grab a, a shallot, grab a, grab a few herbs, and we're going to make a, a little butter emulsion to finish uh, one pan of uh, Jersey Royals in. And then for the other one, we're going to do a bit of crushed. We're using shallots really rather than onions, just because they've got so much more flavour. Uh, you know, they're relatively uh, they're relatively cheap. Uh, you get a lot for your buck, really. More flavour. Okay, and that'll do us for both of these, actually. I'm just going to use some green olives for these. You can use whatever you want, whatever you like, in all fairness. But I'm using green olives because they've just got a little bit of sweetness in, inside them. Uh, but they've also got a small amount of vinegar, so they've got a sort of sweet and sour flavour. So when we do our crushed potatoes, and when we put them through, they'll just help sort of lift uh, the, the potatoes in general. But they won't overpower or dominate them. We don't want to put too many in. But I mean, at home, it's all about what's best for you uh, and what you like. So if you just want to whack in a few black ones or you've got some calamari olives or whatever you've got kicking around the fridge in all fairness, but I'm quite happy to use these green ones. If you're cooking these at home and you want to chop some mint or you want to chop some tarragon or you want to chop a little bit of rosemary, put in whatever you want. I'm just going to tip off some of this water that these royals have been cooking in. because it's, uh, it's got a lot of flavor from the potatoes. And with a lot of things, we don't, we don't want to waste it. We don't want to get rid of all of the flavour that's come out of the potatoes and gone into the water. So I'm going to put just a bit back into the pan. Uh, I'm just going to reduce it down. And then uh, we're going to use this water to make the emulsion to uh, coat our royalty. So I'm just going to drop the butter in so that we've got basically uh, a nice emulsion that we can just use to coat the potatoes in. And you've got to remember, we've got flavour from the potatoes in there, so it's not going to need too much seasoning, but we're just going to check it anyway. It doesn't need anything at all, it doesn't need any salt. So I'm just going to take my potatoes, and I'm just, just going to drop them back in. And the herbs, chop chive that we had earlier on, I'm just going to drop those in. Just going to give them a quick stir, just to coat them. There we go, got our herb, uh, our chive covered royals, and there they are. They've been treated really simply, they've not done too much to them at all, and then you can just enjoy them in their natural state. These are about ready now for our crushed, uh, for our crushed royals. So again, just gonna check them, back of the spoon, they'll be nice and soft. Drain one out, exactly as we want them, really nice. Got a little trick. Uh, for for crushing them at home. I mean, I've got a vacuum pack bag and I'm just going to plonk all of the potatoes in there and just basically crush them up just in the bag. So much easier than messing around with, uh, with a fork and a bowl and a spoon. For that, I'm using uh, a Spanish olive oil. I'm using uh, an Abraquino olive oil for this, just because it's really nice, it's fruity, it's not too strong. So I'm just going to put a good, probably two, three tablespoonfuls in there. Chopped chives. I mean, this, this goes really well with a nice piece of uh, pan fried fish, or a piece of grilled fish if you're at home. So like a nice piece of sea bass, or a piece of bream, or a bit of red mullet. But I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some capers in. Just about a tablespoonful. Again, I'm going to put some chopped chives in. 
And uh, finally, I'm going to put the green olives that we chopped in earlier on. And I'm just going to give that a really nice mix through. And then just pull it off. Pull it off, mix everything around. I'm going to put in another little glug of uh, olive oil just to keep them nice and moist. And if you're using this for a Sunday roast, I'd swap the chives for a little bit of mint or even a little bit of basil if it's lamb. Uh, add some tomato, uh, some chopped tomato con casse in. Uh, again, I'd still put the chives in. Maybe you want to change the, uh, the green olives to black olives and perhaps just put a few drops of balsamic vinegar in there as well. And that would just help sort of cut some of the fattiness of the lamb. Just going to whack a few more capers in. And just going to drop a few more chives in. And then uh, you can do whatever you want with these quantities at home, to be fair. Best thing to do with these, just serve them at the table, on the side, and just let, let everybody help themselves to them. Or if you want to sort of be a little bit more chefy, you can just make a pile in the middle of the plate and put your fish over the top. Just something, it's just something simple that you can do with royals at home that's just really, really, really nice.